Well, Azerbaijan uh, sees itself as the bridge between the uh, Orient and, and the West. Firstly, Ambassador Vakiv Sadakov, welcome to our studios. Yeah, thank you. Can you tell us a little bit about the history of Azerbaijan? Well, first of all, thank you very much uh, for this opportunity to be here with you and I thank also your viewers. Uh, Azerbaijan, uh, the country which I had the honor to represent here in Geneva, mm, is a relatively small country with a population of uh, 10 million uh, people, area of about 86,000 square kilometers, lost in the southeastern corner of Europe at the shores of the Caspian Sea. Well, the history of my country mm, has several periods and I would start probably with the remote period when uh, Azerbaijanis were initially uh, the followers of the Zoroastrian uh, religion and then it changed into the, uh, the so-called Caucasian uh, Albanian Christianity and then since the 8th century we uh, became uh, uh, Muslims. And uh, Azerbaijan uh, became the part of the former Russian Empire at the beginning of the 19th century and that uh, continued up to the uh, beginning of the 20th century when the Russian Empire collapsed and the first um, Azerbaijani Democratic Republic uh, appeared on the world's map. Uh, although the lifespan of, the, of that country was too short, it, it existed only for two uh, years until 1920. Uh, then we became part of the um, uh, former Soviet Union, which collapsed in 1991, and in 1991 we restored the independence. The short uh, life of the first Azerbaijani Democratic Republic was very important for the psychology of the, of the nation, because it was uh, the first in many respects. It was the first parliament in the Oriental, in the world was in Azerbaijan at that time. Uh, the first newspaper, the first university, the, the first multi-party uh, parliament. So that was a very important part of our history. And since 1991, Azerbaijan, uh, after restoration of its independence, uh, we have uh, transformed the life in our country in all respects. Uh, the new constitution, new economic system, integration into the world uh, economy, world politics. We are members of uh, all the major international organizations, of all pan-European organizations. And so we, we believe that the uh, future for the country is quite, uh, is quite um, good. It's based on a solid uh, basis of the nation's will, of nation's vision of its future, and on the sound policy of the government, both in political, humanitarian and the economic fields. And so how has the country developed, particularly in regards to the energy sector? Well, Azerbaijan uh, has always been uh, linked to energy, because um, actually, well, probably your viewers uh, don't know this, but Azerbaijan was the first uh, country in the world where the industrial production of oil in, uh, started as early as uh, the beginning of the 19th century. And in general, in the oil industry, Azerbaijan, in the development of the oil industry, Azerbaijan presented a lot of, mm, uh, a lot of novelties like, uh, for example, the first uh, oil pipeline which connected at the middle of 19th century Baku and, uh, and Georgia, the Black Sea coast of Georgia. The first oil tanker in the modern sense was uh, developed and put into operation in the Caspian Sea in the second half of the 19th century. By the beginning of the 20th century, Azerbaijan alone was producing more than 50% of the world's uh, output of, uh, of oil. Uh, so oil has always been a very important and integral part of our economy. Uh, in the, uh, in the modern period after 1991, Azerbaijan opened up its resources for, for international cooperation and we have signed dozens of the um, production sharing agreements with major uh, oil companies of the world like BP, Shell, uh, <coughs> Mobile and, and, and many others. Uh, in that period, we started also to develop our uh, huge gas, um, uh, gas fields, which are like oil fields, are mostly in the Caspian, in the Caspian Sea. And today we are uh, honored to be producing a lot of uh, gas, and not only for internal consumption, but also for, for export. Now these days, uh, we are developing the very important 
uh, economic project uh, which is called the Southern Gas Corridor, which is actually the huge pipeline connecting um, the Caspian Sea through Turkey, uh, Greece, Albania to the shores of I Italy. And that's going to be the biggest infrastructural project within the e EU. We have already started this work and I think that by 2020 the Azerbaijani gas will start to go to uh, Europe. So this is very briefly on where we are in the field of energy. And how has Azerbaijan cooperated with international organizations? Well, uh, our cooperation with international organizations started immediately after the collapse of the Soviet Union, after restoration of our uh, independence. Cooperation uh, is going uh, through many directions, depending on, uh, depending on, the, uh, on the track. We, we are members of the all major European organizations like OEC, Council of Europe. We cooperate closely with the European Union, with the European Parliament. We are members uh, of all major UN uh, agencies. So we work both in political field, we work in the economic uh, field, in humanitarian uh, field. Uh, that is why, for example, my work here in Geneva is important for our country because Geneva is one of the major uh, UN centers. Uh, a lot of work in the field of uh, development, humanitarian affairs, uh, economy, trade is being done here in Geneva. In particular, I can uh, mention our cooperation with the United Nations uh, Economic Commission for Europe. Uh, we are holding a, a lot of mm, joint projects. Uh, the cooperation is on a relatively high level. As an example, I can say that, for example, in, uh, in October we are going to host uh, the seventh Global Forum on Energy for Sustainable Development, which is an important e annual event, uh, which will s be bringing together um, hundreds of experts from all, uh, all over the world on how to use energy uh, for sustainable uh, development. We also want to, um, to contribute in a humble way to this because these days we start to, to shift our center of uh, focus in the energy field from traditional oil and gas uh, sources to, the, uh, to <coughs> renewable energy sources. We already have done initial steps in this, uh, in this regard uh, and we believe that this uh, f forum uh, will gi give, give us a lot of uh, opportunities to check where we are and to, uh, to try to get to know the experience of our, our partners. Well, Ambassador, thank you so much for coming in today and, and chatting with us. It was a pleasure having you in our studio. Yeah, th th thank you so much for inviting me and the pleasure was mine. That's all from myself and the Ambassador of Azerbaijan, Vakiv Shadokov. But if you like this video, be sure to give it a like and comment on our website, dukascopy.tv. Bye. <laughs>